Hey, it's Quinton here, developer evangelist for salesforce.com. I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek into the REST APIs that are busily being worked on and coming up soon in, in Pilot. So what I wanted to demonstrate here is you're looking at a local Java app that's running on my machine under Tomcat. And you'll see that there's two buttons on the screen demonstrating a couple of different alternatives for authenticating against um, Salesforce to use the REST APIs. There's, there's a number of additional options for authentication, but we're going to look at the OAuth 2 flow. So what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to click on the OAuth flow. What it's going to do is it's going to go against Salesforce, have me authenticate. It'll check my remote access settings of the app that I've already set up inside there. And then it's going to call back to my local application providing a access token. And here we go. What we see here is a, a list of contacts that I've retrieved using the REST API. Now let's jump into Eclipse really quickly and have a look at how that works. So I'm going to skip a lot of the, the um, information up the top. There's a few important things. At this stage, we've got an access token that we received via OAuth. So what you can see is I'm setting that access token into the header. And after that, I really only need to, in this example, give it a simple query parameter. So I'm doing a select from contacts and returning those results. And you'll see once we get the results back, by default, they would get returned as JSON, which is kind of the data interchange of choice these days. And all I need to do is use, in this instance, the standard kind of JSON Java objects. I can loop through the results and display the title. So here you'll see is where I'm rendering just the name and title on our example. So if we look back at our screen, you can see down the bottom here, here is the nice rendered results that we just looked at. So that's it, a super quick peek at the REST APIs. I'm Quinn Wall, developer evangelist for salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.